it's a lot, a lot in my life, you know. Yeah. Uh, the way I kind of stepped back from Hollywood at one point, you know, being the highest paid actor in Hollywood. Yeah. But I, I felt like, you know, it was it was a ceiling right there and yeah. I wanted more. It wasn't enough. Right. So I stepped back, lived a little bit. Uh, yeah, Chris Tucker, we've all been feeling your absence from Hollywood. But what exactly made you step away? Is it that Hollywood couldn't afford you anymore? So that was it. It was just a money thing. Oh, it's all about money. Or is it possible that Chris Tucker's decision to step away from Hollywood was because of his faith? Obviously, Chris was a recognizable celebrity who has starred in many amazing films and was even once the highest paid actor in Hollywood. But the list of movies on Chris Tucker's resume is surprisingly short and especially sparse after the success of Rush Hour and its sequels. Not that anyone could blame the guy. When you make more than $40 million for two movies, you can do whatever you want in life. I mean, maybe he didn't want to be a celebrity and wanted to just live a normal life after doing Rush Hour. However, it's very possible that Chris Tucker didn't just retire young, cause there are alleged to have been other things that actually compelled him to stop acting. First of all, when it comes to the Friday franchise, Chris mentioned that one reason for his decision not to go back to Friday was that he just didn't want to do sequels. Then I never thought about doing sequels. I always wanted to do a good job and keep moving to the next movie. But he did say that with the right motivation, he could actually do another Friday movie. And I always said, because I know my fans love the movie so much, they always bring it up. I said, well, if they come, come, if they come to me with a great script, great idea, I'll definitely consider it. But I said, it's been so long ago and that character is so became such a great character. I don't want to mess it up. Let's but there was also another caveat involved with his decision to do another movie, and it had a lot to do with his religious beliefs. Chris Tucker was born into a Christian family and reportedly grew up in a Pentecostal Christian household, and his parents were members of the Church of God in Christ, very strict Christian parents. And my mama, man, she didn't play, man. My mama made us go to church. Made him. When Chris moved to pursue his career, he wasn't that religious, but when he rediscovered the Christian faith in the late 1990s, the course of his career changed, and he allegedly only wanted to do things that reflected his faith. In fact, during one of his interviews with Straight, he said, being a Christian helps me in comedy. I have to talk about other stuff. Normally, most comics talk about stuff that's easy, maybe cussing or saying something raunchy. I have to dig deeper to find something that's still funny and not raunchy. It's hard I like the challenge. Actually, you know how fans have always wanted to see him reprise the role of Smokey from the first Friday film in 1995? He specifically said he didn't want to reprise that role because of his beliefs. Back then, I gotta tell you, one of the reasons why I didn't do the second one because of the weed. Yeah, I know y'all are like, weed? What does weed have to do with any of it? Well, Chris himself gave the answer. Because I said, man, that movie became a phenomenon. I want everybody, I don't want everybody smoking weed. And I never really told people this because I kind of forgot about it. But it was yeah. one of the reasons why I didn't do it. Cause I said, I don't want to represent, you know, everybody smoking weed. I Ice Cube also talked about Chris refusing to reprise his role saying, we were ready to pay Chris Tucker 10 to 12 million to do the next Friday, but he turned us down for religious reasons. He didn't want to cuss or smoke weed on camera. In a 2020 YouTube documentary created by Comedy Hype, comedy analyst Rex Garvin also claimed Chris Tucker turned down roles in films like Any Given Sunday, Black Knight and Django Unchained for the misalignment of the content with his beliefs. He had a, a, a what you call a, a Christian comedy crash without letting it flow automatically. Once you step in that next level, no one can train you for that. No one can prepare you for that. You're on your own. And what happens when you cross that line into show business, you go into a whole nother world that you cannot predict. In a very recent April 2023 interview with GQ, the question of why he left Hollywood came up again, and Chris was more than happy to give us a bit of insight. First of all, he said that he hasn't really left showbiz, saying, cause I'm always working. Stand-up comedy or something else, I'm working. So when they just say that, I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I haven't been on the big screen in a while. I know that was a poor impression of Chris Tucker. According to Chris, he has traveled the world 10 times over. He has established relationships all across the globe, and he has done a lot of humanitarian work all over the world. So he is always busy, always learning and growing. He did also say that he wants to live for more than just his career, partly so that he can become a better actor, adding, I think it's good when you 
can go away and have a life outside of the business a little bit, a lot of bit. Art imitates life, so you gotta have a full life to do great work. Chris also said that he knew he didn't want to just make a whole bunch of money making movies that don't really mean anything, even though the fame comes with cars, houses, private planes, and all that stuff. He actually said that he knew it wouldn't make him happy, and it got to a point that he only wanted to do special roles, but those parts weren't being offered to him, and he couldn't just find them, so he decided to travel a little bit and live a little bit instead of waiting on those things. But guess what? As a lot of reports previously suggested that Chris Tucker stopped acting because of his faith, Chris swore that the reports about his spirituality impacting his roles were a little exaggerated. Thank God. <laughs> Just kidding. Sure, he might not readily take a role that calls on him to stay smoking weed, but apparently he isn't as devout as most of the Google searches would imply. In fact, he also told GQ that he is ready and wants to keep acting regularly, saying, I definitely want to work. I definitely want to work constantly now. In fact, he's been developing all types of content with a number of writers, producers, and directors. But if your question is developing what exactly, he said he's looking to surprise everyone. Ooh, I love surprises. Okay, do you think by surprise he's coming back with a streaming comedy series? Cause that would be one hell of a surprise. In short, for Chris Tucker, it's not just about being the biggest comic or actor in the world. It's about becoming somebody to give to the world, becoming someone by whom we could all be inspired. Oh, Chris. He also said that he would like to direct produce and write and put his life in a book or a movie someday. If you're listening, Chris, I'm an actor and I'd love to audition for a role in your movie. Yes, I definitely want to do a book. Definitely want to do a book. Definitely want to do a movie uh, about some, some, you know, my experience is definitely going to, some of it will be in some kind of form in, in right. some, some way. Guess what? He's officially returned to the big screen with his portrayal of Howard White in Air, the film that explores Michael Jordan's journey to his famous Nike deal. Chris plays a Nike executive who was instrumental in securing the NBA legend his shoe deal. About the role, Chris said that his agent called him and said they got a movie about something to do with Michael Jordan and they wanted him to play the character named Howard White. And he was like, wait a minute, that's my friend. So he called him and found out that he was in the movie and he said, whoa, man, but they said it's not much. But you know, I'm considering it because it's you. So he's not really gone, guys, but I'd like to know your thoughts on why Chris Tucker had taken such a long absence from the big screen. Do you think he's gonna make a great comeback with the projects he's been talking about? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.